the same again that's happening now. In 2019, it was a very difficult year in Ashton. My voters were very upset with the Labour Party. I was with you and you saw me over the line. You supported me in seats that are similar to mine. People lost their seat. You were there for me and I don't believe I could have done that without you. Now, I know that people are angry about what's happening in the Middle East. And I said live on TV, and I say to this day, if me resigning as an MP now would bring a ceasefire, I would do it. I would do it. If I could affect change, the only thing I've done, and Madge knows this, I got three British doctors out last week from Rafa. They were stuck there. I worked hard day and night to get them out. They were stuck there because they've been helping. And I'm now working on getting aid in again because those doctors told me they went in with 10 suitcases and that lasts a week. Now they've been restricted to two suitcases. That won't last, that's nowhere near enough. So I promise you, the Labour Party, including myself, is doing everything we can because nobody wants to see. And nobody wants to see what's happening. And only last week, the Labour Party were <laughs> supporting the ICC. The Conservatives didn't support the ICC. So at this general election, on that issue, we can't affect anything when we're not in government. And I'll be honest with you, if Labour get into government, we are limited. I will be honest. I'm not going to promise you, because Biden... Who's the US who has way more influence? It's only got limited influence in that. And Qatar, Saudi Arabia, all of these people, we are all working to stop what's happening at the moment. We want to see that. So I promise you that's what we want to see. And if Labour get into power, we will recognise Palestine. I will push not only to recognise, but there is nothing to recognise at the moment, sadly. It's decimated. We have to rebuild. Palestine. We have to rebuild Gaza. That takes more than just recognising it. It takes resources. It takes infrastructure. It takes expertise. We need teachers. We need civil servants. We need all of the um, infrastructure. That's a big job. And I will push Labour to do our part in that with the international community. I've already spoke to ambassadors and people, but that's what Labour will do. So I promise you I'll do everything we can. But I won't say things that I can't do. I cannot bring about a ceasefire. I am really sorry about that. But that is a failure of the international community. Yeah? I, I, I wish I could do that. It is not in my gift. You know, I pray that we can get that sorted as quickly as possible because thousands of people, innocent people, children, are dying and that has an impact on all of us. So I want, first of all, to say that to you.